Fishing can be an enjoyable pastime for players in Animal Crossing New Horizons, but players looking to complete Blathers Museum Collection will need to have plenty of patience and a lot of time to catch the rarest species in the game. Some fish will only spawn during specific seasons, or at a certain time of day, while some will only come out with the right weather conditions. Expert anglers know they will need to search the right locations and keep a keen eye for the different sized shadows that fish produce. The Dorado is a very rare golden fish that appears during the summer months. The name comes from the Spanish word for gold, referring to a shining golden color. It is sometimes considered the summer equivalent of the stringfish. This fish is diurnal, meaning it can only be seen during the daylight, or, more specifically, from 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. They live in the depths of the rivers on the islands. The best way to catch this fish is to stay near the ground level of the rivers, bring a lot of fish bait, using it to spawn fish. It is tied with the stringfish as the most valuable freshwater fish, selling for 15,000 bells. The Mahi Mahi is a new fish introduced in New Horizons. Mahi Mahi, also referred to as the common dolphin fish, is a surface-dwelling ray-finned fish found in offshore temperate, tropical, and subtropical waters worldwide. It is one of two members of the family Coryphinidae, alongside the Pompano dolphinfish. This fish is difficult to catch, due to there only being two areas on the main island it can appear, and one area on Mystery Islands, as well as the larger amount of fish that spawn at the same time. The most efficient way to catch the Mahi Mahi is to use a lot of fish bait at the docks and piers of islands. Mystery Islands can increase the spawn rates of rare critters, although not all do. Arowanas are ancient fish that have remained basically unchanged for 100 million years. They are known for their large scales and the hair that sticks out from their lower lips. They have a remarkable jumping ability and can leap over a yard above the surface of the water. Males protect their babies by keeping them in their mouths and releasing them once they reach a certain size. When searching for fish along the river, you should be looking for large shadows. It may take numerous attempts, as there are other fish that share the same profile as the arowana. Keep trying, and eventually one of those shadows will be the arowana. The arapaima is a river fish that appears in the summer. It appears between 4 p.m. and 9 a.m. It is a very rare fish, making it the third most expensive river fish, after the stringfish and dorado and tied with the arowana. Its shadow size is huge, similar to the tuna and stringfish, and likewise, it is the largest river fish. You will find that the arapaima will spawn in rivers, so those interested in obtaining this aquatic creature will need to visit the rivers. Players will find that this aquatic creature is large, which means, those looking to catch the arapaima will need to focus on large shadow sizes, when fishing in the sea. The Great White Shark, formerly known as the Shark prior to New Horizons is a finned fish that can be found in the ocean from June through September, from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. It is the second longest fish in the series, behind the Whale Shark. The Shark will generally win any size fishing tourney due to its immense size. The Great White Shark can be found in the sea on your island or on Mystery Islands. It will appear as a large shadow with a dorsal fin protruding through the water. Great white sharks will only appear from the shadows with a dorsal fin, so there is no point in catching fish without one if looking for it. Keep in mind that the fin can be hard to see on fish that are vertical, so try adjusting the camera position to check first. Players will know they are fishing up the correct size fish, if they are catching other sharks like the hammerhead shark or saw shark. The ocean sunfish is the type species of its family, Molody. Its range is fairly widespread, being found in both temperate and tropical oceans. They are closest in relation to two other fish in Animal Crossing, the blowfish and the pufferfish. When resting the ocean sunfish will lay down on its side just below the ocean surface. Their diet consists of mostly jellyfish. Due to the makeup of their skull, ocean sunfish are unable to completely close their mouths. To help make the ocean sunfish appear, craft fish bait using manila clams. Throwing the fish bait into the ocean will randomly summon a fish's shadow to appear. Repeat this process until the ocean sunfish appears. It's huge, you can't miss it. The stringfish is an extremely rare fish that appears in the winter from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. It is caught in the river in games prior to New Leaf, and the clifftop rivers and ponds in New Horizons. 
It is one of the most valuable river fish along with the golden trout and dorado, selling for 15,000 bells. The best method to catch this fish is to climb to the higher levels of the island using the ladder, bring a lot of fish bait, and use it to spawn fish. If one isn't found within 35 to 50 bait, it is best to move to a different spot, as different areas sometimes have different spawn rates for fish. The golden trout is native to several rivers in California. These small fish are famed for their beautiful bright yellow and red bodies. Sadly they are now endangered in their native range due to years of overfishing and introduced trout species, including the rainbow trout which it hybridizes with. This fish can only be found in clifftop rivers in New Horizons. These are the rivers that are located on the second or third layer of cliffs on your island. With your clifftop river in place, your next task is to make some fish bait. We suggest making roughly 30 to 50 bait. There is no guarantee that you'll catch a golden trout with this amount of fish bait, but it will prevent this task from becoming tedious. Like all rare fish, catching a golden trout also requires a good amount of luck, but if you keep going, you'll eventually catch one. The barrel eye is a new fish introduced in New Horizons. It can be found in the ocean between 9 p.m. and 4 a.m. Unlike the majority of the rare fish in New Horizons, the barrel eye appears as a small shadow in the sea, meaning that it can often be mistaken for a common fish. It also means that you should avoid running when hunting down this elusive fish, because, due to its being small and water being darker at night, you might scare the barrel eye away. The easiest way to catch a barrel eye is by using fish bait, which is made from one manila clam. Bait in hand, you can find a good spot along the shore and set up camp. With any rare fish though, catching a barrel eye will require a lot of patience. Not only do you have to wait for the fish to appear, but it can easily escape your line if you're not quick enough. The coelacanth is an ancient order of fish that was, for a long time, believed to be extinct due to their disappearance from the fossil record 66 million years ago. The first ever live one was caught in 1938. It can grow up to 2 meters in length and lives for an average of 48 years. You can catch the coelacanth year-round, but only in the sea while it is raining. The coelacanth can net players a large sum of 15,000 bells per fish and can appear any time of day, but the fish is rather rare due to only being available while it rains. Fish bait is one of the quickest ways to catch a coelacanth, as it quickly spawns another fish. While players can fish at any sea location, it may be beneficial for players to fish at the pier for a chance to catch other rare and expensive fish. Catching rare bugs in New Horizons is a great way to earn some bells, especially if you're close to paying off one of your many mortgages. Yet as the word rare implies, these bugs can be very hard to catch. You need to be light of foot and swift of hand to catch many of these. You'll also want Lady Luck to be on your side, because, due to their rarity, these bugs have a low appearance rate. The giraffe stag is actually a brand new bug that was introduced in New Horizons, a massive black beetle with long pincers. It's considered easily one of the rarest and most situational bugs in the game, as it can be found usually on palm trees only. The giraffe stag is usually found during summer seasons and at nighttime exclusively. Specifically, the giraffe stag can appear on islands in the northern hemisphere from July to August. Giraffe stags can appear at any time between 5 p.m. and 8 a.m. Once caught, it has one of the best selling prices in the game. Scarab beetles are truly stunning, with a silver exoskeleton and round shape. As if to put a point on their uniqueness, they can only be found in July and August in the Northern Hemisphere, or January and February in the Southern Hemisphere. It's no surprise then that these guys are some of the most valuable bugs in the game, Thankfully, while they don't spawn often, their silvery sheen gives them away once they do.
the Goliath beetle is aptly named. This hulking beast is found only on palm trees, presumably because there's more space on the beach than the ground for their enormousness. It's a pretty uncommon find, only appearing in four months out of the year when it's warm. To catch a Goliath beetle, you need to spot it from far enough away, approach slowly, then hold down the A button to creep forward with your net. Keep holding A, then release when you're close enough to catch the Goliath beetle. The Goliath beetle sells for 8,000 bells. Like their cousins, the horned elephant, horned Hercules beetles are really hard to come by and even harder to catch. They can be recognized by their black head and spotted yellow back. The horned Hercules beetle will only spawn between 5 at night and 8 in the morning. Due to the game always being based around the time of day it is in real life for the player, this may mean that players will need to set an alarm to go hunting. Where there's a will, there's a way, though, and plenty of players have nabbed this bug. Once you do too, you can say you beat a Hercules all by yourself. <laughs> Horned elephants are big bugs, so you'd think they were easily spotted. On the contrary, though, these guys won't appear often, only show up two months out of the year, and are liable to fly away when startled. The most devoted players will catch it to complete their museum and critterpedia. If you manage to snag two, you can also sell it for a pretty penny to the Nook brothers. Goodness knows why they buy anything you put in front of them. <laughs> The king of all critters and among the hardest to catch, the tarantula is pretty much on par with the scorpion when it comes to difficulty and rarity. Although it doesn't quite fetch the same price as the giraffe stag or golden stag, it's still an immensely valuable bug. Look for it in the evenings on your island. Another super rare bug in the form of a beetle is the golden stag. Basically, it has a slightly gilded exterior which accords it a unique look and name. This bug is so rare that many have not even realized it has made it to New Horizons, as one of the most expensive species. The golden stag can be caught on palm trees in the hottest months. <laughs> The scorpion is one of those critters that will move quickly and actually chase after the player if they get too close to it, making it immensely difficult to catch. Usually active at nighttime and in the evening, it's a rare but very satisfying catch to make. The scorpion, when attacking the player, will disappear and cause the player to teleport home. However, lucky and skilled players will be able to catch it quickly and sell it at Nook's Cranny. Dragonflies are pretty small when they fly around your island, so it can occasionally be hard to tell one from another. You'll know you've got a banded dragonfly on your hands when you chase it for five minutes and still don't manage to catch it. You'll need to sprint and stop pretty suddenly to try to grab when it stops to hover, and it might take a little while. Thankfully, these don't disappear when you swipe at them like some other bugs. You can chase it all over the map until you get your chance to nab it. These guys are crazy fast, making them a really satisfying catch once you pull it off. 
Many players may have seen this butterfly flutter around their island simply because of its massive size. Queen Alexandra's birdwing is a green and slightly turquoise butterfly, which is fairly slow-moving and easy to catch. That being said, its appearance is somewhat rare. When you do see it, it'll be around the island during the daytime. It fetches a nice, though not exorbitant, price. <laughs> Thank you.